G'day, it's Dan and Terry, and we're from Red Earth Energy Storage in Gympie. Now, today we're actually getting ready to head out and catch up with a customer that we've recently installed a Sunrise Three Phase System for out in the, uh, the lovely hinterland of Doonan, yeah? Yeah, lovely spot. Mm. And, uh, and what, what can you tell me about the system you designed for the customer, mate? Uh, well, it was uh, basically it was uh, a fully loaded three phase Sunrise, so mm. it had uh, uh, a complete battery uh, array and also a 13 kilowatt PV array on the roof of the shed. Yep. And we used um, Hyundai 390 watt panels. Yep. Uh, the ones with a 25 year product and 25 year performance. Which is quality. industry landing, uh, leading as far yeah. as. Yeah, yeah it's a very high, yeah, high quality system yep. uh, all the way through basically. Yeah, that's right. And even the Sunrise comes with a full 10 year parts warranty on the, the product, the, the Red Earth unit itself. So that yeah. covers everything from your battery technology through to the inverter, yeah. all the electronics. So. Really good protection, but um, how does that system work here? Just to explain to people that might be looking for a grid connect hybrid. Yeah, system. well look, it, probably the best way to describe <laughs> it is, is when I met with the customer, we, uh, we sat down and, and, and worked out what his main drivers were, and what his needs were from the system. Mm. And, uh, first of all, it was very much battery storage. Yep. Um, a lot of people now are looking more and more into battery storage because feed in tariffs uh, dropping all the time and getting lower and lower. So, yeah, financially, so self sufficiency kind yeah, of Yeah, well, it's financially, it doesn't make a lot of sense to, to sell power back to the grid it's around about six cents per kilowatt hour. Yeah. You're better off yeah. putting it in a battery and storing it and using mm. it at night and offsetting your power bill. So, that was yeah. clearly number one. But I mean, even like a lot of people aren't aware that even a battery system, if it's a hybrid grid connect system, it'll actually look to the battery through the day as well. Won't it? If it's if your loads are kind of above, you know what your solar panels are generating at any one second, it'll actually look to the battery. So the grid's always the last thing it touches. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. N number one will be the the to cover the demand from the from the property. Yeah, and, so, and, yep. and then number two will be to charge the batteries, and mm. then anything that's left over will be sent back to the grid. So, yeah. Uh, yep. So yeah. So that was the the, <clears throat> the, pri the primary reason. The mm. Secondary, there was also the uh, the emergency power supply. So if the grid goes down, mm. our system will actually take over. Yeah. Um, and, and automatically as well. If it's yeah. Integrated. Yeah. 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 Within <coughs> within thirty seconds, it sort of put this come over to to battery storage. Yeah. And um, and the good thing with our three phase uh, system is that uh, you've got a continuous power output of ten kilowatts or ten you know ten thousand watts, 10, watts. during the power outage. Which, which is huge because I mean competing, you know, comparing to other products in the market, it, it's really a heavy hitter, isn't it? Because yeah. it can sustain yeah. that, that massive continuous output for yeah. three phase devices, single phase devices within the home during yeah. the blackout scenario. Well, that's it. And, and uh, so that would cover all, all the demands in the property yeah. during the power outage. Mm -hmm. uh, that's with the, the system with maxed out with the batteries. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you go with the, the minimum amount of batteries, <coughs> which is five for that system, mm -hmm. you still get seven and a half kilowatts, 7,500 watts of continuous, continuous output. output. So obviously the reason for adding those additional battery modules is to help it get to that voltage and, and be able to support that kind of continuous output. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, yeah, the main so, reason behind So that. that was the first two. And then mm -hmm. thirdly, the customers very much looking to the future yep. uh, and wants to be involved in virtual power plant on his roof so mm. he can utilize technology that will be launching into the yep. market end of the first quarter, early second quarter of this year yep. where you can sell that stored energy back, <coughs> excuse me, back to the grid or mm. to friends or, uh, <coughs> or or other users in the local area. So that's well, something that's, we're working on. And it works with energy trading. So I mean, that's, yeah. this is another innovation, obviously, you know, a technical guys back at the office really put some thought into to mm. future proof and obviously help the customer get the fastest return investment, I suppose, out of a system, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, like we said before, the mm. day of the feed-in tariff is coming to the end. Yeah, yeah. And, and new technologies will we, we'll be launching this and, and, and another couple of uh, really exciting uh, yeah. New products. Can't mention track. that at the moment, but no, it's yeah. but it, but, but, but mm. trust me, they're, they're very exciting. Yeah, uh, yeah. and, and <laughs> we're looking forward to launching them. But I mm. think, look, I think without further ado, let's mm. get into this actual uh, yeah, installation. Yeah, because yeah. 
it's a fabulous, fabulous installation. It looks really yeah, great. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, oh, well, like all their installs are smart. Yeah, no, they, nice. yeah, but this one, <laughs> I just I really like this. I just like the layout and, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it all suited quite well. So, And we'll, we'll do a future video, obviously, going over virtual power plants, VPPs, and, oh, and yeah, kind of explaining the end of the program. Yeah. But uh, there'll be a more detailed video covering that, that trading of energy. It's just but, a um, teaser for the moment. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. More details to come. Well, let's go for a drive. Let's go and see this system. All right, we'll see you around, though. Cheers. Cheers. G'day, it's Dan and Terry, and we're now uh, what are we? A bit of a week, week into um, about a week. The customer yeah. system being fully operational on site since the install. So that's why we held off on doing this video because we thought this might be interesting for customers to understand how the monitoring software works, how the system performs yeah. based on the client's actual usage patterns. Yeah, mm. this. I mean, this is our own system. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it kind of complements, you've seen the introduction, you've seen the product and, mm. and the installation. Which came up looking great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still think it's uh, one of the best. Yeah, one of the best, Terry. Take pride in our work. Yeah, yeah that's it. But, uh, but mm. this, I think this is, ex this is very exciting for a lot of customers mm. because this is live data from the mm. system. So and they get to see it actually working as they're on, it. on site. So yeah, and we go through some of, the, yeah, some of the features and benefits yeah. of this yeah. uh, in the next few, uh, few minutes. That's right. So yeah. we'll, we'll try and keep it pretty condensed and we'll just do a bit of a summary to, to go yeah. over it. But, you know, our monitoring application runs off a Telstra 4G data um, yeah. service. So that's all inclusive in the system, but it allows us to operate monitoring without the use of the customer's internet connection, which is pretty good. It yeah. ensures it's always working. Um, and really good for those locations that might be a bit choppy with data too. As yeah. long as there's phone reception with Telstra, we're good to go. Yeah. But um, you can install it on the mobile phone, you can have multiple logins there. So you can, you know, if yourself and the wife both want to monitor the system, you can both actually see the system live. Yeah. Um, and you can also log in via a website portal. But what you're seeing now that's going to come up in a picture in picture display and what we've got in the background here, and we've got a bit of tape over there, obviously for privacy for the customer. Um, but uh, we're seeing an instant snapshot on the first page. Yeah. Um, so essentially, if I move my mouse around here, we can see on the left-hand side, it, at the moment, the home, you'll see the, the photo of the home there. Now, actually, Terry, you could probably point to it while we're going through too, mate, with your ruler. Yeah. That's the home. So fun. yeah, so the customer's only consuming 400 watts. So you can see that figure there. Mm. So yeah. that's home Doing well, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Try to just the straight face. It's like being in school, isn't it? But, um, and we can see it's a snapshot, like I said, of the day. So since this morning, we can see consumed. That's exactly right. How much battery storage has been charged into the battery storage solution from the night before? Yeah. Yep. So nearly 13 kilowatt hours have mm. gone into the batteries today. That's right. So if we come down here, we can see that those batteries are 100%. Yep. So that system's fully charged now, 100% battery capacity. And the solar array, I mean, that, that's booming along. So that's actually you know, generating 10,000 watts or 10 kilowatts. Yeah, because you can see mm. here that this gives you what the weather's doing. It's a nice sunny day. Well, you could be a weatherman. Yes, it's scorchy off. And uh, here's the solar system knocking out 10 kilowatts. Yeah. 0.4 kilowatts, 400 watts, as Dan said earlier, it's going to the home. The yeah. batteries are fully charged. So the system is now exports into the grid. Yeah, at 9.6 kilowatts, so 9,600 watts, we're actually sending back, or the customer's sending back to the grid. Yeah. And obviously, uh, I think you mentioned he's getting, at the moment, it's 12 cents, but obviously that's variable and you never know how long yeah. that'll last. You know, it's the, the honest truth, but you know, at least it's offsetting his daily connection charges and he's potentially making money on the system yeah. too. So unlike the weather ticker, our systems actually do work. 
yeah, unlike the uh, the weather forecasts. But yeah. um, now, if we go through here, we can also see environmental aspects of the system. So it actually has a carbon ticker that lets you know exactly how much you're contributing towards the environment by going with this the standard or this hybrid solution. So that's a really cool thing, especially for the younger generation to, to get involved in. Yeah. Um, then we have four trees of in a week. Yeah, four trees. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Not too bad considering you don't even have to walk out the door. Yeah. But um, and then we've got our battery uh, information for the past seven days, so it gives you a bit of a snapshot overview. And Terry, you want to do a little point there, mate, with the. Sorry, I've missed that, Dan. What oh, in the top right, your oh, battery, sorry, right. your seven-day yeah. ticker. Yeah, so yep. uh, basically, this is, this is in the last seven days, mm. the battery bank for that system has been pretty much 90% mm. of, 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 of total capacity. Yep. So what affects that is, is, is poor weather, really, inclement weather. Yeah, you know, yeah, charge uh, rates. Yeah, and we've had some rain over the last week, so one mm. of those bad days, it maybe it wasn't quite enough to charge all the batteries, mm. so mm. that's why it's not 100%. But you yep. can see it today, it's uh, 100 It's burning along. So if we go into our energy, so we'll go into the next tab now. This is where we really start to delve into breaking down the performance. Yeah, that's yeah. it, up the top there, so energy. And then you'll see here on the left hand side, we've got side energy. So we can actually change this from a day view, which is going to give us information for the day period, obviously since midnight last night with the monitoring data. Or we can even click onto this and we can go to week view. And you'll see it'll actually update our list on the left there. So this particular customer, he's generated in, in what a week's operation. Uh, what are we looking at? 310 kilowatt hours. Yeah, nearly 311. So, yeah. uh, yep. so his average per day is, is 44. Yep, 44 to kilowatt hours. Pretty good, eh? Which is which is burning along. Yeah. So you know, we can see there, obviously in the data there, to the right of that production, just here in that little small area, oh, to the point to the left. Yeah, yeah, up a little bit further. So we've got, oh, sorry, you know, so, right. so, you know, we can see consumed, so 25.44, you know, stored in the battery system, 51.28 kilowatt hours. And he's actually exported 234 kilowatt hours back to the grid, which is, it's just burning along. Yeah. So, you know, we can also go down further on the page and we can look at the consumption as far as the consumption on site and then break it down into how much has been consumed by the solar, the battery storage and the grid. So it gives you a nice clear balance of exactly how the system is working and operating. Yeah. On the right hand side, we can see this graph. So essentially starting from the bottom on the left hand side, it says zero kilowatts as our baseline. So yeah. there we go, zero kilowatts. Don't want that. Zero kilowatts, and then it goes up in kilowatt hours on the left hand side. So this is obviously breaking it down into a daily kind of basis from you know Feb 3rd, Feb 4th, Feb 5th, so forth. And we can see there, we've got the load internally in the, the light blue, so that's his internal load. And then the orange is actually the PV generation for that specific day. Yeah. Very good. And, and I think that a good point here is that people might be looking at it and going, oh, mm. there's, there's not a lot of uh, load, uh, mm. not a lot of usage, but this particular customer does have a, a, a manufacturing facility mm. on site. Yep. And it's not running 24-7, yeah. but every so often there will be a lot of welding and fabrication. Yeah, it's a pretty cool workshop. Yeah. yeah, so that load will go up. You know, it's going to vary and fluctuate yeah. depending on what type of fabrication work he's doing, yeah. that's correct. And, and we, can kind of, we can actually include the battery storage data into this as well. If we click on this little drop-down menu, we can actually include the grid we can include storage, and you'll see it'll start to populate more data into this graph, into that daily snapshot. So we can see how much of the battery systems offset his internal load while working in conjunction with the solar input as well, and how little grid input has yeah. been required there. And it's basically microseconds, really. Yeah. It's not even blipping. So working off the start of the customer's never gonna have an energy bill, never. You'll actually end up getting owed money by the retailer, essentially the energy provider. Yeah. Um, so this is really good data and we can break this down into longer periods as well so we can go last 30 days, we can really delve into the performance of the system just to ensure that everything is doing what it's meant to be doing. Um, then we go across to our analytics and this is where it gets really quite interesting. Especially, yeah, especially with this particular site because the day that we actually went out there on site and caught up with the customer, we actually identified there's something strange going on site through the data, didn't we? We did, yep. And and we can kind of see that. So this is just showing a snapshot from today. But we can, let's, I reckon we'll go back and we'll go to the 9th. So this is, there we go. So February 9th, 
This is showing a full daytime snapshot, so from middle of the night to middle of the night, essentially on our graph. Now, one thing that we notice while we're on location, and this seems to be something that's happening over and over and over, when we look at these spikes above that zero point, and it's in the black here, so we can essentially see the battery systems discharging to support those loads. But the interesting thing here is basically those loads are pretty consistent, aren't they? And this, yeah. this is through the night while he's sleeping. So it's kind of, it's, it's going up and it's hitting the same energy consumption every single time that it fires up. And, you know, what do we kind of come to the conclusion with on site for that device? It's the hot water system, Dan. Yeah, or even potentially the water pump. We, we, we looked at the water pump, but the mm. water pump, when we've got up to that, so if you mm. click on that again down, yeah. up to yep. uh, about three kilowatts. Yeah, that's right. So three point three. Yeah, that's right. Because we identified the water pump is about a kilowatt. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So, um, so, so essentially, the the hot water system is turning itself on and off, on and off, on and off. So it only has a fifty liter hot water system. Yeah, the hot water system is yep. too small. Yes. Yeah, too small. Property, so yeah. we'll upgrade that to yeah. 250, 250 mm. liter system. That's right. And th then you can actually set it up. And we mentioned this to the customer. You can put it on a timer and ensure yeah. the hot water system charges through the day. So it very rarely well, touches the. But the, the, but the good thing is, if, mm. if you just, you can see here the battery power completely offsets it. Mm. Exactly. So, so it it's covering from, it. Yeah, it didn't, yeah. It, nothing was, that energy wasn't supplied via the grid, it was mm. supplied by the battery. Exactly right. And then we can see in the morning when the sun starts to come up, the solar system here, as I move my mouse across, you can see it start to pick up an orange line. So that's essentially indicating the system ramping up as it gets more UV exposure through the PV. And then through this period, where we've actually got that greeny blue kind of section here, where I keep moving my mouse over, that's indicating the battery system receiving that full input from the PV and charging at a very efficient rate. And essentially being completely charged by, if I scroll down here, to our time. There we go, so 7.53 in the morning, this customer's battery system's 100% charged. Yeah. And then from that point, all the red here indicates export back to the grid. And then the battery system charging and discharging through the day to cover the surplus needs of the, the, the location with the loads. Yeah. So it, it's a perfect example, which is, you know, majority of our system is how it operates. So if you design a system specifically for the customer, you know that you can guarantee this kind of performance. Yeah. yeah if you do it all right from the first first mark, yeah. And, and all this inf information is mm. to hand for all the customers. This isn't for us. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Although we have a copy of it, the mm. customer has this as well. Yeah. So they can really... You can even get down to turning on different um, appliances. Yep, and, and isolating what the loads are. And seeing, yep. seeing how much energy yeah. you're actually using when you yeah. put all four That's right. hot plates on, for example. Exactly so. right. And, and this is where it gets really interesting because we can catch up with the client afterwards yeah. and kind of advise on, on different techniques to, yeah. to, to minimise any grid dependencies or any overloading scenarios and, yeah. and just kind of slightly adjust things to really work with the tool the way it's meant to be used. Yeah. Yeah, Perfect. so yeah, there's heaps of other features. Obviously it's got push notifications and all the rest of it involved, but you know, during the consultation process, Terry and I will actually go through this step-by-step -step and explain how the system works in detail, but this yeah. is more of a summary. Yeah. Yep, awesome. So, all right, well there we go, another happy customer and another brilliant system. Yeah, from A to B, all the way through the process. That's right. That's so great to see. There we go. So if you're looking for some honest information and uh, you're looking for some detailed information on understanding your, your options, then yeah, feel free to give us a call. We're always yeah. here to help. Yeah, yep, definitely. Come and see us. Come and see us. See you around.